Now then, <clears throat> ready for your oral exam, Jerkins? Uh, Jenkins? Well, of course. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. We'll see about that. Question one, what is the first thing you should do when you see a customer requiring service? Pretend I'm busy. Wrong! Well, that's what we were told. Ah, but you shouldn't see the customer in the first place, you fool. At least you shouldn't let on that you have. Remember, ignore the customer and it will go away. That's a saying that you must keep firmly in your mind. Most of them come in on their lunch hours. They don't have the time to wait around all day. Sorry. Never mind, it was a trick question. But you'll have to do better with the rest. Now, supposing the customer won't go away and does manage to attract your attention. <laughs> what then? Four answers, please. I could... Uh, a, play yes. around with the keyboard. Yes. B, look through the files. Yes. C, count the money. Mm -hmm. Or D, um, D, D, yes. D. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, pretend to make a phone call. Right. And remember to talk now and then. It's more believable. Now, question three. What word should be used the least? Next. And the two words that should be used the most? Uh, computers down. Good boy. Why was the handy bank invented? To make life easier for the customer. Wrong! To make life easier for you! Last question. What is the company's numbers... Uh, what is the company's, uh, company's number one rule? Uh, oh, you know, I can't uh, even say it myself. Uh, come on, boy, come on. It's the first thing we taught you. A customer in need is a pest indeed. Oh, right. Oh. You slipped at the end, I'm afraid. Only three out of six. You failed. Oh, no! But you scored extra points for your laziness and your condescending attitude. Yes, yes, Jenkins, you pass. Great! Congratulations, Jenkins. You are now a fully-fledged bank teller. <laughs>